So here I have my pan that I put out hot chili peppers, habanero peppers, and jalapeno peppers to dry. I dried them for several weeks, maybe about six weeks. Um, you know, some of them are more dry. Here's one that I, that was green that just turned red. This is a um, jalapeno pepper. You know, it was green, now it's red. After it dries out, it looks something like this. You know, this will turn into that. It shrinks and gets really hard after a few weeks of drying. These little chili peppers, they dry pretty fast. I pick them off the tree when they're red like this and they don't really shrink, they just dry up. And these are um, habanero peppers, they take the longest to dry out. But they are the, woo, so spicy. So what I do now is I combine chili pepper, jalapeno, and habanero pepper together. And I use um, a coffee grinder and grind it up and make chili powder. Yeah, so I want. I think I can do that right now, in fact. I think I should have a couple in here ready. This one. Gotta find one that's really hard. This one's pretty hard. This one's pretty hard. All the chili peppers are, are, are pretty dry. So I have three chili peppers and three jalapeno peppers. Let me get another chili pepper. All right, four and three. Now I'm gonna use the um, coffee grinder. Flowers are talking to me. They want water. <laughs> and grind these up. So here's my coffee grinder. First I'm gonna wash the coffee out. And I don't even know I'm supposed to like put this in the water like that. But I washed out the coffee. I use it use one of these rags and dry it out. Try to get as much coffee out as possible. You know, it's not a big deal if a little bit of coffee is in there, you know. Coffee is good. But what I do, what I don't like is if after I make the chili powder to have chili in my coffee. But, you know, it's all good. So it's nice and clean. And um, now these, I'm going to prepare them by um, cutting them up a little bit. So this next step is I cut off the stems and cut them in half like these are the jalapeno peppers. One thing I know about the coffee grinder, you know, it doesn't really work well if I don't fill it up, you know, with, with enough stuff. If I only have a couple little pieces in there, it doesn't um, really work. So I have to like make sure there's enough content inside the coffee grinder so it can have something to grind and if I don't have enough I'll go up I'll go back outside and get some more should be enough though so the really great thing about making my own homemade chili powder is that you know these peppers come from my garden and what's beautiful is now that I have them as dried and chili pepper powder, it can last me a really long time. Cause I use chili, I can use the powder in anything that I want to be spicy, you know? And so it gives my, <laughs> there it is. Gives my chili peppers and jalapeno peppers an extra long lifespan, you know? So 
So here you go. There's chili powder. There's a few chunks still left in there, but of course, uh, there's an easy solution to that. Now here's my container where I where I had some chili powder that I grounded up last week for the first time ever too. This is what I this is the first time I did chili powder. That was last week. And what it is, how you know, this is all happened in a flow. I didn't plan any of this stuff. Like, um, I bought the chili pepper plants because you know, they're looking, they look interesting. They look, I didn't even know it was chili pepper. They just look interesting, you know. And then, you know, of course, you know, they 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 bared in the garden, and the chili peppers aren't good if you try to cook them right off the right off the um, tree because they haven't. A tough exterior so if you try to cook them and eat them it's not really pleasant you know so then I went online to figure out okay what can I do with these chili peppers and I saw that what I should do is is dry them and you know so what I did is also not only did I dry the chili peppers I drove I dried the jalapeno peppers and um, see this is how I use a strainer you know to separate the, um, the chunks from the powder and I add that to my chili powder that I already have one thing that's really interesting about chili powder is like when you first taste this you, you might I first put it in my mouth I don't taste anything but about a minute later woo! it's spicy and it lasts the spice lasts for a while you know like you taste it a minute later it's spicy and then like 10 minutes later you can still taste the spice it's a long lasting spice but it's really great so that's how I make homemade chili powder from the jalapeno chili peppers and habanero peppers in my garden and I showed you the pan that I have outside in the Sun right now it's all there and over here is I have another place where I have chili peppers and jalapeno peppers these are these are new, so what happens is I wait, till, I wait for these jalapenos to turn red like this one. Once they turn red, then I put them in the pan, and then we're good to go. So this is the garage, you know. I can leave them here in the garage because it doesn't, it's hot, and you know, I don't have to worry about it raining and me have to go pick up the pan. Like, the pan that I have out here, fortunately, I, I haven't experienced them getting wet because I've been really good at taking them out of the, um, getting them out of um, bad weather, you know. I only put them out when I know the sun is blazing. Like right now, the sun is blazing hot. There's no rain clouds in the sky. If it gets cloudy, I come out and I pick them up and I put them back inside. If they got wet, it wouldn't be a big deal. They can dry out, but um, you know, that's the flow. <laughs> Homemade chili powder.